Hi, I'm Michael Mondragon from Nerdy Connections. Today we're going to make a diamond in 3D in Illustrator. So let's see how that's done. Okay, so here's how you make a 3D diamond in Illustrator. And I've pre-made two types of diamonds here. Uh, this one is actually a full diamond and this one has actually a transparent center in it and I'll show you the difference um, when we actually make the 3D diamond. So let's select this diamond. We're going to go into the effects 3D extrude and bevel. When you do this a dialog pops up and we can actually go in and click the preview button and you'll actually see the diamond here and it's actually to the position that is default here. Now you can actually make different types of looks here. You can actually do that right here by just clicking and selecting. But what we want to do is we want to go back to the front and we can actually control this by using these little sliders right here. So let's actually, if we were to make these all zero, I'm going to tab through and make these all zero, it would just take us back to the front view. So what we actually want to do is make that, and I'll just make that an even number of 50. And what's great about this is you can actually make different types of bevels on this. You can actually take it and you have a more rounded look there. There's a complex bevel you actually can get a kind of a jagged bevel right there. It's a little bumpy one and all of these have really interesting looks and you can actually make the extrude depth much bigger. This one's set at 50 so let's make it like 200 and you can actually see it's almost like an accordion right there. So you have a lot of flexibility with it. Now you can see that it on this blue one, it's go, we're going to get a, a much different effect. So let's click on that one and we're going to go back to the extrude and bevel and click on preview. And you can see now that there is a different look to it. You're actually going to get that hollowed out look in it. And so if I set this back to similar to what we had before. So let's go to 50 and I'm going to take that out so you can actually see it. And so if we were to make this one 200 and you can see that it really gives you a lot of flexibility with this. And so let's make it, let's make it jaggy. Now you can see the, the difference between the two. And if I were to take this around you can actually get some really interesting effects and these can be brought into Photoshop uh, with their new 3D capabilities. You could bring these into any 3D program and actually uh, be able to rotate these around. So Illustrator has made it very easy to make uh, 3D objects, but this is the way that you would make a 3D diamond in Illustrator. So have fun with this great technique. Thank <music> you.